The possibility of the Hyatt power plant closing. So I asked, okay, so when would it be up and running again? You know, if it were to close in August. And he said, when do we get rain again? And that's October, November. Uh, that's quite a long stretch of time. So we are notoriously dry and we also have an opportunity for more dry lightning. The possibility for more isolated thunderstorms are back in our forecast. That's going to be Sunday and Monday. In the meantime, let's talk about the heat. Today was a hot one. 98 in Stockton, 99 in Sacramento, 103 in Marysville, 104 in Oroville, 97 in Auburn, 93 in Placerville, 96 in Jackson. Tomorrow is expected to be warmer, hotter than what you had today. So here's a look at the weather headlines. Triple digit heat returns is here. The high heat unfortunately does increase ozone formation, so we are going to be dealing with some air quality concerns. Uh, that's going to be coupled with the wildfire smoke. And then how long do the 100s last this time? Well, this time they're kind of flirting with us. Just a couple of days. Things will cool off by Monday, but they're going to warm up right again <laughs> later on in the work week. So here's a look at what it feels like outside now. 100 in Modesto, 97 in Stockton, 98 in Sacramento, 99 degrees in Fairfield. If you want to cool off, head to San Francisco, 69 degrees in the city by the, uh, by the bay. Most locations are looking at temperatures a little warmer versus the same time yesterday. That's because we had a little bit less of a delta breeze. It came in, but it took its own sweet time getting here. Take a look at this. Southwest winds around 9 in Sacramento, 18 in Fairfield, 7 in Marysville. And these winds will generally be out of the west to southwest over the course of the weekend. And that's what's going to be funneling and pushing the wildfire smoke. So here's a look at our visible satellite showing the smoke associated with the Fly Fire as well as the Dixie Fire. And again, we're still dealing with the Beckworth Complex. The smoke associated with these fires will be pushing off to the north and east over the course of the weekend because of this, the high pressure system. So the clockwise flow around it is really going to be generating the west to southwesterly winds, and that's what's going to be pushing that smoke to areas to the north as well as to the east. So foothill locations today that were mired in smoke, that should not be a concern for you over the course of the weekend. Those southwest winds are again going to push that smoke to the northeast. Here's a look at it. If you're going to be in Tahoe, unfortunately hazy sunshine for Tahoe because it is immediately downwind of the Tamarack fire. So hazy sunshine in the forecast over the course of the weekend and the Tamarack fire is still about 58,000 acres and it's only about 4% contained. So yeah, they're going to be dealing with that for a while. Here's a look at the air quality concerns. Unhealthy for sensitive groups for Sacramento, Placer, El Dorado, as well as for Stanislaus County. That's going to be for Saturday. And here's a look at a special weather statement because of the air quality concerns coming in from wildfire smoke. That's going to be for the upper foothills as well as for the Sierra. And again, that's all attributed to wildfire smoke. Afternoon highs tomorrow in the foothills will be hot. 100 in Ione, 96 in Placerville, 100 in Auburn, 97 in Jackson, 97 in Sonora with a very mild morning low in the 70s. Tahoe for the next five days, I got 89 for Saturday, 88 coming in for Sunday. Temperatures cooling off Tuesday with an afternoon high in the upper 70s. Lower 60s for the Bay Area tomorrow, lower 70s for Oakland, lower 80s for San Jose, and you can see 81 for Gilroy. I hit the valley floor and there go my hot temperatures again. 100 in Patterson, 100 and one in Turlock, 99 in Modesto. I'm going to go at least 99 in Sacramento, 105 in Oroville, 106 in Calusa. But again, it doesn't last long. Temperatures backing off as early as Monday, but don't worry, they warm up yet again Wednesday and Thursday. Well, don't forget.